I had two conversations with um, with two people. Um, the first one is um, a guy from New York that I know from uh, a lot of time. Uh, and I've known since 99. And he called me once, probably in 2012. And at that time, I was always having conversation about people don't listen, people don't do this. I would have, have this unendless conversation with other industry people uh, that, that we think alike. Oh, they don't do this, they don't do that. Oh, people don't listen. Oh, look at them, look at that. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know all the stories, the music industry. So, at a point, my my man from New York calls me, and he's like, "Bro, um, exactly, yeah." People fail to put words into action. And so my boy from New York who calls me, he's been in the music industry since like, he used to to work with the the, the Didi's, the Salt and Pepper, the Jay-Z's back in the days. Now he's into other things, but back, back then in New York, those guys were running the music industry. Um, him, my Haitian friends and stuff. They used to work with the, the White Clefs, the, the, the Papa Jubes, the, the Macario Césaire, like all these people, the Grace Jones. That, that's the studio where we were. And he called me once, so he explains to me that now he's like, he's more into solar, he's more into buying buildings, etc. All the money that he made from the music industry, he invested them in other things. Cool. We have this conversation and... And you know I'm expressing a few of my of my frustrations, you know, and he he tells me, you know, Kay, your real problem, yo, what it do, DJ Banzi, <laughs> Brockton. He tells me, you know, Kay. You know what is your problem? And I was like, nope. He was like, your problem is that you are usually the most intelligent person in the room. And I was like, how is this a problem? And he was like, yeah, it's good for the ego to know that you know all these things. But the problem is you spend your time talking about numbers like 300 400 500 with people who are just dreaming of reaching 25 and what you need to you what you need to do is sit down with the people who talk about 3000 5000 you need to sit down with the the people who create the website that you use because you on that level because when I met you in 99 and you were 26 you were already or 25 I don't remember you were already you already had like your website you already own your keisha.com you were into the internet you were into all these things when nobody was into it so you have an advance that is so far from most people you talk to in your industries and especially the artists and even sometimes the record label owners you talk to them about stuff like youtube when people were still trying to sell dvds so when you are in such an advance in in, in your brand in your, your 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 brand and in your actions what you need to do is sit down with people who are more advanced than you so that you can learn stuff or that they can be like hey we want you to work with us because what happens 
if you don't do that, if you're going to keep talking to people who listen to what you say, they keep 10% in their head. They only remember 10% and they only do 3%. And then you get frustrated. And then he told me, and you have no reason to be frustrated because it is their choices. You are not responsible for the choice, the choices of other people. You're only responsible for the choices you do. And if they don't follow them, if they don't follow your advices, it's not your problem. You don't have to feel bad because you actually gave them the advice. You have to feel good because you said to you, yeah, you have to say to yourself, hey, I gave you the advice. Everything else is not your problem. It's not your problem. And that was the first conversation I had that week. And then this The same week, a few days later, actually, I met um, I met a gentleman who's uh, I've been introduced to this gentleman. We went to have a drink with him and his wife and a friend of mine, and uh, he's somebody who um, he succeeded in. Uh, I became a multimillionaire doing a billboard advertisement. Uh, in stadiums, in Times Square, in all these places. And he was based in uh, Holland. No, the UK, sorry. He was based in the UK and he, from the UK, he had a worldwide, he still has a worldwide business when he really had innovative ideas like putting uh, advertisement in front of movies, stuff like he did a lot of things back in the days. Same thing. We met, we start talking. And uh, yeah, at a point I was expressing, I was expressing those frustration about uh, helping everybody and people not doing what I was telling them to do. And he told me, young man, you don't climb a mountain with everybody on your back. You climb a mountain by yourself and every time you find uh, every time you, you you do a step and you find a, a place and you understand how to climb the mountain the best you put some little flags and you write down the information and then once you are up there on the top of the mountain you send the information to the people who are down there. You tell them, I put flags there, 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 there. Be careful there, there's this. Be careful that place is dangerous. The best way is here, here, and here. I tried that, it works. I tried that, it doesn't work, etc., etc. And then you, you send them a message. You send them a, 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 a long message. Whatever information you want to give them, you give them how to climb that mountain, but you're not going to do the effort for them and they're going to have to climb the mountain by themselves. And if the information that you gave to them was valuable, hopefully when they're up there, they will say thank you. And if Those, some of them decide not to use it because they think there's a better way. It's up to them and it's not your problem and it's not your responsibility. And then I was, I was like, yeah, but you know, some of these girls and some of these guys, they were on my label. And so I feel like a, a kind of responsibility of, 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 because I, I, hey, Matt Music, what up, brother? Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Blessings after record that song. But I haven't recorded in two weeks. But I will soon, as soon as I'm feeling better. Uh, so, you know, now I'm 
I'm telling him, yeah, you know, to me, it feels like I have some responsibility because some of those girls or some of those guys, yeah, you know, I'm the one who launched them. And then he was like, but are you their dad? I was like, yeah, no, but you understand. I was like, yeah, but are they, are they still on your label? And I was like, oh no, not anymore. But I was like, so he, so he was like, so how is it your responsibility? If they are not signed to you anymore and now they are all independent, why do you feel that you are responsible for every single one of their fucked up choices? And I was like, wow. So those two conversations changed my life. Those I had them in 2010, I think. And uh, that was, I just moved to Portugal. No, 2012, maybe. Because I just moved to Portugal. And ever since that day, more and more I start dialing down on having those those conversations with people and, and thinking that it was important that those people because I know what people need to do most of the time. But yeah, it's not my responsibility what they're going to do with it. 